Hi, and welcome back, everybody. My name is Melissa. Everybody calls me Missy. Thank you for all of you guys that have subscribed so far because I am so new here. And um, bear with me with the name change. I had um, a lovely lady um, at our little gingerbread house that helped me the other night with a couple little tips. So maybe a couple little changes. Hopefully that'll be able to um, help me and to get more subscribers. I just want to give her a great, huge shout out. Thank you. Again, that was at our little gingerbread house. So if you get a chance to go over and check out her channel, she's really sweet. Um, she does a lot of she does adorable things with gingerbread houses. She does cooking. She does tea new hauls, um, home decor. She's just really sweet and uh, really a kind person. So now today, ugh, lots of stuff going on because um, I did not nothing yesterday, which I should have done a lot yesterday, and I was just not feeling up to it. So today, I may not show you everything because some of the stuff you just don't have to see. I, um, am, I have to make my onions again, where I'm going to, you know, grate them and freeze them. I'm going to make two batches of my apple pie filling because we went through that whole batch already this month, which we usually never do, but it came out so good. We had apple turnovers one too many times. But I want to have it in the freezer so that when we do want to have a, a quick uh, dessert, it, it's just so, super simple. And plus, I still want to make my apple bread. So I'm going to make a double batch of that. I'm going to make some sweet potatoes in the oven. Some will be for um, me to have. And uh, some I do put in, in the dog's food. So I want to get them baked and cooked. Super Bowl is Sunday. So I definitely want to do um, a couple of uh, app... app ugh appetizers <laughs> so uh, quick and simple double eggs which don't take very long at all just need your eggs in a pan of water and a fork and some mayonnaise a couple of spices so and we also want to do um, sweet and sour chicken wings those are delicious and I'm gonna do um, some potatoes whether I'm gonna do um, baked potatoes but hopefully I'll be have enough to do some potato skins for Sunday Baked potatoes will be for tonight's supper. And I have a whole container of mushrooms that I want to get um, cooked down so that they're not wasted. So we want to get them done. So it's lots of things we're going to do today. So I'm going to get started with probably cutting my apples because that's one I want to get in there first. So I'm going to just do that and then I'll come back and show you some of the other things that I'm going to get done today. Here's a kind of an overview of what I got going on in my counter over here. I am gonna get the sweet potatoes going right quick. So, look at how big this sweet potato is. Oh my gosh, it's huge. So this one I wanna cut in half. nubs off of here quite quick. Alright. A bag of potatoes. I'm just going to give these a, a quick scrubbing. You hear that water rushing? So once these sweet potatoes are cooked, just take out the flesh, the insides, and I'll put a little bit um, to the side that I mix up with the dog's um, chicken or hamburger or whatever I make them this week. And I mix that in. And the rest, I'll put in a little container for me to have on the side with my supper tonight. And the rest I'll just throw in the freezer. Another thing I want to make, obviously not today, because I got a lot to do, but uh, sweet potato bread. It is delicious. All right, so those have just been washed and cleaned right quick. We're gonna throw some olive oil on there and salt and pepper. That's it, just throw them in the oven. Yeah, 
of some salt, a little bit of black pepper, which is salt and pepper is fine for the dog. Oh, this one's not even open yet. Sorry about that. Just throw a little bit of olive oil on there. Okay, so my hand towel is missing. I'll get one out after. So I'm gonna throw these right in the oven and they're gonna go anywhere 30 to 40 minutes. You just take your knife or your fork and once it goes through, they're done. All right, I'm gonna peel all my apples, which is gonna take way too long. I'll come back once we're on to the next thing. Okay, what I've started here is my eggs for the deviled eggs. I put these eggs in cold water, let them come up to a full rapid boil, shut them down, let them sit for 10 minutes. Gonna drain them, put them in cold water. I'm gonna crack each side of the egg so that the water is able to get in and it breaks it away from the shell. And then next we're gonna try this new machine that we got for the apples. So my husband saw how I was cutting everything up, even his onions, and he went and bought me this little machine. So it's our first time trying it. Little Ninja here. It was only like $20, $19 at Walmart, something like that. So we're gonna put it in and see it dice everything up for us. just over here deciding how many we can put in and I'm gonna put them directly into the pan. I put some lemon juice on there but they're still gonna brown a little bit. It's not a big deal. I think that's just to save something in there. Yeah that's a cover to save something. Okay. Now, last time we put them in like a little square chunk pieces, but he'd like them a little bit smaller, which is fine. Let's see if it works just like this. So, yeah. we've got tiny little ones. We're going to dump them right in this. Right now, I got um, a little bit more than a, a stick and a half of butter. About a stick and a half of butter, rather. Because I'm doubling the recipe because we went through so much. So I'm just going to go through this whole bowl of apples, get them all chopped up, put them in here with the rest of the ingredients. I'll um, bring you back once I start putting the other ingredients in here. Because you did already see me do this one time, but I wanted to show you this new nifty little thing, which I'm going to do my onions in, because it has three different speeds, right? You just do it as long as you need to. Oh, okay. So you just hold it. So we're going to try it after with the onions and see if it'll get the same um, puree like I'm looking for with my onions. All right, let me get this done. Okay, so I got this on video here. It was uh, messing up. So the heat's on low. All the apples are in there. We have our butter. We're gonna put in, um, I already put in half a cup of water. Let me get these instructions right quick because I doubled it. So in here I got two cups of sugar six tablespoons of cinnamon. I already put in two uh, teaspoons of vanilla. I already put in two pinches of salt. I put in a half a cup of water and then I made a slurry which for a double is six tablespoons of cornstarch and 12 tablespoons of water. So we're going to pour this slurry in right with it too. We're going to mix everything together and just let this all cook down. And then when it cools, we'll bag it by two cups, portions. So I want to get you over here to the... Okay, here's our deviled egg set up. We're going to need some mayonnaise. 
mustard powder, celery salt, salt, pepper. And I must have left my egg dish somewhere. But that's okay. I'm going to use an Easter one. Isn't that adorable? Little bunny rabbit. Okay. So I cracked each end and let them sit in this cold water for a few minutes. And um, it's a secret. Well, not a secret. <laughs> it's something um, my dad um, taught me years and years ago when you're doing um, boiled eggs is that that gives the water time to break free, the membrane break free from the shell. And so now we're just gonna peel them. And I throw them right back in, right here. I rinse them right here. I forgot my knife. Give me one second. Sorry about that. We're going to break it down the middle here. Pop out our yolks. And I actually, if there's any little... That broke, no big deal. I, I want a little bit of white in my um, pieces here, in my mixture. All right. Do the next one. I don't put no salt in my water. I don't cover it. Not to bring um, any sadness to this um, video, but my dad passed away last year. Actually, 20, yeah, it's, it was 2022. Um, but it was at the end of the year. But anyways, the reason I'm telling you this, because he passed away at 90 years old. And you have relatives that live that long. Listen to them. Listen to their stories. Listen to the, how they did things. They are so smarter than you could ever imagine. Especially when it comes to things like this. Like my dad obviously grew up large family, very poor. But they had chickens, so you know they boiled some eggs in their day. You know, you don't need this, you know. And they, they're cooked all the way through. They're not overcooked. They're not undercooked. You can tell they're over quick, overcooked when they have, like, that green, greenish kind of color around them. And I'm trying to do this fast, so I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm just gonna peel these couple extra right here and then I'll show you when we get to the filling. So this next part, there's no exact, this is really just the taste. So you, you know, how you, um, your preference and how spicy it is or not. It's not really like spicy, spicy, but the seasoning. So we're just gonna break this up with a fork. Nothing fancy. We're gonna throw some black pepper in here. I'm gonna start with um, an eighth, because I've only made, what, three, six, nine, 11. It's gotta be 12. <laughs> three, three, six, nine, 12. And usually I make um, dozens at a time when I make them. This is a small little batch. So an eighth a teaspoon of uh, dry mustard. Eighth of a teaspoon of celery salt. I'm gonna throw in a couple big scoops here of this mayonnaise. Let me mix this around. Definitely more, I can already tell. I know, I have to take these off of here, but I did not, so we have to just bear with me in the noise. I'm sorry. All right. Now, let me 
give this a little taste. Where's my spoon? Mm. Not going to add any salt to that. The celery salt has made it salty now. And then you can put this in a bag, plastic bag, cut it, make it all fancy. If you're going someplace, we're not going anywhere. We're just eating them, so there's no fanciness for us. And a lot of people will, this is just a personal preference, put a little bit of paprika on top. I do not care either way. If I don't personally put it on mine. That's all we're doing is just taking little bits and filling up the little egg hole. There's no reason to make uh, boiling an egg difficult. That's it. Ten minutes. You let it sit. They're cooked every single time. Oh, well, sometimes this happens. I have to go back and steal some from another one because I put too much in. No worries, it's just me and my husband eating them. But I got talking and put too much in. So, we'll just borrow from another one. All right, there we go. And then now we have perfect deviled eggs. Great to bring for the Super Bowl. What does it make? If you're staying home. Okay, next we're gonna prep um, our chicken wings. It's gonna be um, one cup of sugar. I got probably um, half a bag, so I think three pounds of chicken wings. And then we're gonna take our soy sauce. Oh Lord, I wanna get that whole cup. There we go. Gotta use my muscles, I guess. <laughs> So, I thought I had another bottle, so I gotta make sure I get it because my husband lives off this stuff. Uh, we're gonna use this breast. It's almost like, it's right, right where the, the label is, that much. You know what, I'm gonna get the measuring cup. Yep, a little shy, three-fourths cup of soy sauce. We're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it marinate. Oh, I don't know. At least an hour. We wanna rub it all together. And this is uh, sticky chicken. That's what my sister calls it. I don't know what it is. And I haven't made this in such a long time. Just thinking about it, I'm like, oh, why haven't I made that? I do like it a lot. So, that's why we went with this one. This one's gonna sit. I still got my onions to do. I got a big mess to clean up. Get some things put in the fridge. So hopefully we'll be able to, actually let me show you right quick because our sweet potatoes did come out. And so these are done. Our sweet potatoes are done now. And see, you just slide it right through. So I'll break it out, scoop out the middles. Like I said, save some for sweet potato bread, put a little bit in uh, Billy Bob's food, and I'll have a little portion with my supper tonight. So we're gonna get that ready. So um, when we come back, we'll see what else we've got done, because we still got the apples going. And um, for right now, I think that's it. So we'll be back. Oh, I just looked over to go shut the phone down. And remembered I still have this <laughs> large container of mushrooms to process too. But that won't take too long. 
So we'll do that also. One tablespoon of ketchup. Come on. Is my ketchup now? We're on time with it. One tablespoon of ketchup. One tablespoon of melted butter. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. A quarter teaspoon of paprika. Three fourths of garlic and onion powder. One tablespoon of sugar. And then we're gonna mix it and then see how much water we're gonna put in. Now, have you guys ever had yum yum sauce? Delicious. We got it from the Japanese restaurants. They make it there. And once COVID hit, we could no longer get it because they were not open. So I just went on the internet and there was tons of recipes. A couple of them I tried and not so much. You know, it was a little bit different. This is the one that I found, um, I think was on all recipe. And this is what I've been making first. Well, not first, this is what I've been making since then. All right, a little bit of water. Now, that's about the consistency I'm looking for. I'm just gonna taste it right quick. Mm, delicious. This can be put on anything. So at the Japanese restaurant, we get the steak and their rice and like, um, broccoli. And I don't remember what it was called, but I used to order. So it's been like four years now. But all you, all we're gonna do here is, oh, I lost my funnel. Let's put it in this glass jar with a good cover on it. Keep glass jars. Wash them out, we use them. But this will be good for about a week in the refrigerator. I am um, gonna use it tonight on steak, so I'm making it now because it wants to sit at least two hours in the fridge to let this all come together a little bit better. But you can put it on anything that you like it on. I like how it melts right down into the rice. Delicious. But you can put on potatoes, beef, chicken, anything you want. But this is how simple and easy. Now, what that cost me? Maybe a dollar fifty, and that's pushing it to make this. They sell it in the stores with extra preservatives. Six, seven dollars a bottle. Unnecessary. Just gonna find my cover. And that's it. All right, uh, I'm not gonna write nothing on it. I know what it is. And um, I'm struggling with my labels. Usually I can get them off really easily, but lately it takes like three or four times. And this one I just did, so it's not a big deal. It's just the label that was on here. Any tips for that, I would greatly appreciate it. I've tried vinegar, soaking them. I've done everything. I just, they're using extra stick extra sticky glue lately but that's how you make yum yum sauce so if you um liked what you saw like my video subscribe comment and uh, definitely comment if you know how to get these off way better than i am doing lately and um i hope you try this and um it's delicious so god bless you all Okay, guys, I just want to show you what I got going into the oven next. So I got some just um, regular potatoes, wash them, olive oil, salt, baked potatoes. Something tonight. We got our chicken wings. They're um, sticky wings with the soy sauce and sugar. 
been soaking. I put a little bit on top. I'm gonna throw them in and they're gonna cook mm, 30, 30, 40 minutes. Halfway through, I'll kind of mix them up, flip them over. Then I just did a small little pan, cut up the potato pieces. I'm not gonna put this in until maybe 30 more minutes. I'm gonna put some cheese on top. I'll let them cook about 10, 15 minutes and put some cheese on top of it. And I will come back with everything all finished because I've had done a lot today and I'm about done. So, there we go. All right, everybody. i show you how quick we can do these um, mushrooms. You want a damp paper towel. Just kind of wipe it, get any dirt. You never want to wash your mushrooms because they're gonna be soggy and they're not gonna crisp up nicely for you. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna save this little piece for a freezer bag. And then we're just gonna slice away. As thick as thin as you want them. I'm gonna cut them again the other way, make them even smaller. I'm gonna do a bunch this way and a bunch small. Because that way I have them in two separate um, for two separate things. Like this one's gonna go. This longer ones I like with steak. These little ones, omelets, those kind of things. Again, just wipe it. I like to cut that out. Thick as thin as you want. So one little tip I did want to tell you guys is that just because something's on sale doesn't mean it's a good deal. Now, I'm the only one in my house that eats mushrooms and you saw the abundance of mushrooms there if I didn't come home and process these then it's not a good deal because they're gonna go bad I'm gonna throw them in the rubbish um, so you know be cautious make sure that you know that you're gonna have enough time to be able to process something so it doesn't just sit in the fridge and go bad on you you know, life does happen sometimes, and sometimes, you know, that is going to happen because something happened and we could not, you know, follow through on the plan that we had for something. But you want to be able to do your best. So if you find a good deal on something, make sure that you come home and process it. Now I'm going to fry these up, and then mushrooms are freezable. So I'll put them in different um, containers. Some I'm just gonna leave in the refrigerator so I can use during the week. And then the other ones that I can use for different processes like um, a meal with the bigger ones. And then some of the smaller ones I'll use for, like I said, um, breakfast kind of like stuff. Cause I like them tinier for breakfast. I like them this size inside meals. Cause they shrink, mushrooms shrink. So that was my tip of the day for you and I'm gonna continue doing this okay here's our mushrooms I added um, teaspoon tablespoon of butter because they're getting close they don't take long but you see that big huge package I looked there was no amount on there so don't cash a check with it or anything but I'm thinking it was about three pounds of mushrooms so, and then we had gotten about this much here of the cut up little pieces. Then I have a little baggie for my vegetable stock. So, at this point, I'm going to pepper it. And then, I'm not going to salt it till they're completely done. Right before I shut it down. Because we don't want the salt to really... It's that in the cooks, so there won't be too much, but you don't want them to be watery. And what I said earlier in the video about, you know, just wiping them down, 
when you, it says around the package, wash them. And I wish I almost showed you, I mean, I washed them now. My hands were so dirty from doing this. But when you wash them, like, wash them underneath water, you, the mushrooms are retaining that water. So they're never really going to get crispy. You don't, want, you don't want them crispy, but I just don't know how to explain it right. But they won't, they won't get to be the, the, not the tenant. It just, they'll be watery. Just take it at that. <laughs> they just, they'll be, this pan will be filled with water instead of olive oil and butter. And you don't want to boil them. You want to saute them. So you just take the wet paper towel and clean them. It's a chore, but anything that tastes good, you take a few minutes and just do it the correct way. And it's going to taste better in the long run. Like I said, some of these I'm going to take out for my steak tonight. The rest I'll put in baggies. Perfectly fine, safe to freeze them. And then you unthaw them and have them whatever the next meal you want. The ones that I put in the container, I'm just going to throw in the fridge. Some of these I'm actually going to throw in the fridge too in a small container. But they'll be for things that I'm going to have during the next week. So there's our mushrooms. Okay, so just a little recap on what we got done today. Um, devil eggs for the Super Bowl. We got some um, potato slices, almost like uh, with uh, mozzarella cheese on it. Then we've made this whole container of mushrooms, which I'm going to take some and freeze it, but I just was too tired right now. All these stems are for our soup. Um, I found this chicken in the fridge that I need to cook up, so we got that cooked up. Um, a bunch of chicken legs. I had done the sweet potatoes, and um, I saved out two for supper tonight. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags of the apples. And then we got the one bag of the sweet potatoes. I already put some in the dog's food for this week, and I can just break off little things. Okay, and then we got the little stems, um, not stems, but little pieces that we saved for breakfast time of mushrooms. And we've got these sticky wings. Oh my, everything. These, I have not had them in such a long time. So delicious. I've already ate three. They're not going to last for Super Bowl, but hey, I'll make some more. Oh, my little sign fell down. Is that a little sign for the day? So hopefully I'll be able to edit this video where it's coherent because I've been all over the place today. But we wanted to, you know, show you just a couple of Super Bowl snacks. And I still had all that stuff that I had to get prepped because I didn't want to have to waste it. And as I said in, in one of my clips, if it makes it, it's a repeat. But it's no sense in buying something on sale if you don't break it down and, and put it away properly because it's just going to go bad in your refrigerator. So be cautious of that. And while I'm over here, I just glanced over to all the stuff that I had done. Let me go back for a minute. I also made this yum yum sauce and um, it's good for a week, but we're going to use it tonight on our steak and potatoes and it's going to be delicious. So... If you liked what you saw today, you can uh, like, give me a comment, you can subscribe. All of that would be greatly appreciated, and uh, you all have a great weekend.